back with us. They, they didn't want to leave. John Burnett and David Bachin <laughs> are back. I'll start with you on this one, John. I thought it was really fascinating uh, when Cuomo went off yesterday and he talked about some sort of de facto civil war going on between these blue states and the federal government and said, what they're doing is they're taking from the blue states and they're giving to the red states. And I thought about it for a moment. I said, well, if you substitute blue for rich and red for poor, isn't that the crux of this political being? That's in that, isn't that what he believes in, taking from one group <laughs> and giving to another? Absolutely. You know, it's clear that the president understands that, you know what, the way to get this country back on track is the redistribution of opportunity, not the redistribution of wealth. With that said, it's clear that the governor is trying to pivot. Why? Because he understands that, you know what, I'm in a high-tax state. And you know what? Yeah, it's the my fault. Individual taxes, right? The highest combined taxes, state, excise, uh, sales, income. It's, it's just nuts. I mean, Cuomo has put the residents of New York in such an awful predicament. And he wants to layer on more pro pro programs like a $91 billion in single health care. Absolutely. When you look at it, according to a report by the state comptroller, Tom DiNapoli, New York is about to pass $63 billion in state debt by March of next year. In addition to that, Cuomo is hiding another $270 billion in debt through state agencies. Right. So not only is the fiscal it's, picture bad in terms of taxation, it's bad based upon debt load. Right. You know, David, um, uh, President Trump uh, said, listen, if the Dems had come and sat with him, perhaps this whole thing would have never been an issue. And to me, it felt like he was saying, hey, you guys need to come to us and talk to us about infrastructure, talk to us about the wall. Let's negotiate, let's negotiate in good faith so that we don't have this sort of haggling going on. But, but ultimately, you know, the rest of the country, is, they're not shedding any tears for, for blue staters. No, they're not. And the reality is here that this is just plain good policy. There is no reason in our form of government the vision that the Federalist founding that they had would allow for a person in Texas or Wyoming making the exact same amount of money as someone in New York or California to pay dramatically more federal tax. We have separation. That's what the whole point of our state's system is based on. And, and the governor's facts are wrong. Now, first of all, by the way, Charles, I should point out, California here, where I am right now, we do have a higher rate than even New Yorkers. And I'm proud to say I live half the year in New York and half the year in California. <laughs> so apparently running a large wealth management firm didn't give me much tax savvy. But the reality is, is that both of these states have hid behind the federal deductibility of their egregious high state tax. They rely on the highest earners to so, fund a totally so as, as a resident uh, of both, incompetent system. Of both states, do you think what can emerge out of this is perhaps on a local level within these states, some sort of uh, voter revolt, voters saying, hey, you know what? Yeah. Uh, maybe we've done it wrong the whole time. Maybe we don't need high-speed trains in nowhere. Maybe we don't need to yeah. you know, pay uh, for everyone and roll out the red carpet for everyone. Maybe could, could it be possible that California and New York ultimately decide to give the other party a shot? I think that New Yorkers have always felt that that point's coming and Californians have always felt that point's coming. I certainly believe there will be a point, but I'm kind of done trying to time it because the reality is, is that there's a whole lot of people in both states that aren't itemizing, so they're not necessarily affected by this. As you pointed out earlier, this is hitting rich people. Their hypocrisy here is unbelievable. But even to the extent that it's hitting rich people, the reality is it's doing so because of the state's right. incompetence, right. their unwillingness, and the one thing we didn't mention earlier, their unfunded liabilities on the pension and health care side. It's, it's completely out of control. Well, uh, when, the, when it's time for New York to flip, uh, you got the, the main GOP strategist right here, John. <laughs> Donna, take care of that. Okay. Gentlemen, okay, now I will say Happy New Year, and uh, I'll see you guys in 2018.